We've been heavy on Lumia coverage recently, but Samsung isn't staying still in the battle for Windows Phone 8 supremacy. We've been waiting for this one for a while, so let's get right to it. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing and hardware tour of the Samsung Ative S. The Ative S was the first Windows Phone 8 device officially announced, but it's one of the last to launch in 2012. Still, late is better than never, and Samsung's doing something different with Windows Phone, eschewing the brightly colored approach of HTC and Nokia for a more toned-down aluminum-silver color. Now, despite this being one of the larger Windows phones available today, the box is very small and simple, with the product showcased up front and some specs on the back. And just to go through them very quickly, Windows Phone 8 is the OS of choice. This is an HSPA Plus device, an 8-megapixel camera with a 2300 milliamp hour battery, the familiar Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 CPU running at 1.5 GHz, HD Super AMOLED display, Full HD video record and playback, and of course GPS and then the usual gamut of specs down there. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off. We've already cut the seal. And there is the device, front and center, occupying the entirety of the front of the box. We'll go ahead and pop it out there. We'll take a look at the device in a second, but right now let's just see what's in the box, see if there are any surprises in here. Various startup guides from Samsung, legal notices, paperwork, and so forth. An international charger, because this is an international unit, or European charger, I should say. USB cable, and the looks like the same Samsung earbuds that we've grown to know and either love or loathe, depending on your attitude. Not much else going on in the box, so we'll put it aside, and we'll come right back to the device here. Now, before we get to a hardware tour, let's go ahead and pull the battery door off. One of the big selling points of this device, of course, that you can do that. It is not a non-removable battery. The battery cover itself feels an awful lot like the Galaxy S3s. It is very, very bendable. It is a very obviously plastic. This is not metal, though it appears to be metal, thanks to that finish, which we'll come back to in a second. But anyone familiar with the Galaxy S3's battery door will be familiar with that. Under the battery cover here is that 2300 milliamp hour battery, along with a micro SD card slot that supports micro SD XC for enhanced capacity. There's the SIM card slot there. Underneath the cover, not a whole lot looking different. Looks a lot like some other phones. There's that 8 megapixel camera lens. Let's pop that battery door back on. And with the battery door reattached, we can have a look at the outside of the hardware here and kind of take it in. Now, Samsung calls the ATVS a new smartphone for both work and entertainment delivering a premium Windows Phone experience. Now, they're obviously targeting this at the prosumer market, and that shows in this kind of understated, refined design with a hairline metallic finish, reminiscent of the Galaxy Note 2, but as you can see, it's a slightly different color. It's a little brighter, that aluminum silver that was called out on the box. It looks very, very nice in person. The device is 8.7 millimeters thick with a nice metallic looking bezel encircling the unit and a very classy looking recessed speakerphone arrangement on the back here. The Ative S weighs 135 grams, which is the same as the Galaxy S3, but because it lacks the S3's teardrop shape, it feels different in the hand, a little more substantial. Now the highlight of this device is under the screen protector, so let's go ahead and take that off. Nice. And that highlight is the largest display on a Windows Phone 8 device, a 4.8-inch HD Super AMOLED panel at 720 by 1280 resolution, delivering 306 PPI. Now, if those specs sound familiar, they should. That's exactly the same as on the Galaxy S3. It's easy to see why a lot of people call this phone the Galaxy S3 for Windows Phone. As you can see, our first boot is complete, so we can go ahead and take a little bit of a hardware tour here. Uh, volume keys mounted on the left side of the device as you're looking at it, not where they are, where we've gotten used to them on the right-hand side adjacent to the power button. So that's an interesting little variance on the usual Windows Phone formula. Volume down, volume up, nothing else on the left side. On the right side, the power button mounted very, very high up on the device, not at the midpoint where it was moved for the Galaxy Note 2. Makes sense because this is not a phablet. The two-stage camera key is located down in its usual spot, and its responsiveness right out the gate is uh, a little bit mushier than we're used to on other Windows Phone devices. 
Down below the display, you'll notice another distinction. Samsung has retained their favorite physical home button here, but it is flanked by capacitive back and search keys. And around back, once again, we're looking at that fancy speakerphone grille under the Windows Phone logo, the camera lens with flash and the little callout for its resolution up top, headphone jack, noise-canceling mic, and Qualcomm callout sticker on top, which can be removed and will be, and down bottom, the micro USB port and primary microphone. Guys, we're going to get to know this device very well over the course of the next few days, but in the interim, this has been your unboxing and first hardware tour of the Windows Phone 8 device with the largest display on the market currently, the Samsung Ative S. Keep it locked to Pocket Now. In the coming days, we're going to have a lot more coverage on the Ative S, including a comparison with the Lumia 920 and our full review treatment coming very soon. Follow us on Twitter so you don't miss it. Pocket Now Tweets is the official account. Follow me at Captain Two Phones. That's Captain, the number two phones. We'll also be discussing the Ative S in a fun and frank manner on the Pocket Now Weekly podcast, as usual. So tune in for that. And as always, visit us at pocketnow.com if you want to leave a comment on this post. Give us a thumbs up on the video here if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.